So even as an avid car enthusiast, sometimes I see cars and I just wonder, what is that? And that was the story for the car we are looking at today, which is a 1986 TVR 280i. And when we got to my work, I was like completely clueless on what it was until I looked at the back of it and saw that it had the TVR or the 280i badge. And today I'm going to tell you what it was like to drive it as well as just some of the interesting stuff about it. So let's get started. So let's start off with the styling. Of course, here in America in the 1980s, the styling of cars was, it's kind of like it is now, but everything was boxy instead of angular and aerodynamic or whatever like cars are today. But uh, the TVR, this car, has some of the most interesting styling I've ever seen on a car from the mid-80s. The nose is like half the length of the car in general. There's not really much behind the nose, especially the nose past the front wheel, which is like probably two feet long. And then you'll notice at the back of the front fender, there isn't a crease in between the fender and the windshield like there usually is. That's because this car is mostly made out of fiberglass, similar to like a Corvette or something. The only things you can really take off on the front are the lights and the hood. And speaking of the hood, even though this car only had a small V6 making 160 horsepower roughly, it's got like a cowl hood design with a vent in the back. And believe it or not, it is 100% factory. That is how they came when they were brand new. And of course, this car does feature pop-up headlights, which are massive. And then the marker and turn signal lights are down below. Another one of the more unique styling features of the car is the fact that the windshield is almost perfectly flat. It has a little bit of a curve to it, but it's 90% flat and of course only has one windshield wiper because of course it does. And then going back from there, it isn't really too crazy. But if you look at the convertible top, it's not just the convertible top like you would normally expect. And I learned this by getting half the top dropped on my head by a coworker when we were trying to figure out how to put it down. Basically, the rear part of the top where you see the crease is just a normal convertible top. You put it up and put it down. And apparently, the section of the top in front of that is just like a target top. And it turns out all you have to do to put the top down is pull a certain way on the supports on the top part itself, and then it'll go down and you lift the target top part off. And of course, yes, you can drive it around with just the convertible top part up. Heading on into the interior, it's a lot of wood and leather, which looks very nice. The steering wheel is not original in this car. It's actually just a aftermarket one with the TVR badge in the middle. But the gauges are nice and easy to read. All of the gauges that you need are there. With a nice little pod down in the center with your power windows, mirrors, and the radio. Going further, you can tell this car does have a four-speed manual transmission by the shifter in the giant center console, which is about a foot wide. And then up front, that transmission is connected to a 2.8 liter Ford V6, which from what I can see on the internet is basically the same engine you could get in the 80s Ford Rangers and Bronco 2s, the 2.8 liter V6 in them. Driving the TVR is definitely an experience, but it's nothing too crazy. It's 160 horsepower with a four-speed manual transmission, so it's not excessively fast, or I didn't really test it around any corners really, but I can't imagine it would handle like that fantastically. But some other inter interesting tidbits about it is that it does have inboard rear brakes, so the brakes are actually basically on the rear differential instead of being out by the wheels, just like uh, old Jaguar XTEs and whatnot. The coolest part about it to me was the engine sound. I don't know if it's because of the exhaust or what, but this car sounded fantastic when I was driving it. I don't really have any good clips of the audio, but you just gotta take my word for it really. Other than that, it's not really remarkable besides the fact that other people look at you and wonder just what it is because of the proportions are weird and it's just a weird car in general. But that will conclude this short little video of the 1986 TVR 280i. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. And you can subscribe and whatnot if you like what you see. And other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'm out of here. See ya.